All right, today we're doing a review of the Vituvia SX20. You can see the bike here. We're gonna talk about its components and then we're gonna go for a ride. Stay tuned. Okay, so the SX20 has a 750 watt rear hub motor. Um, it has an integrated, really nice styling. 40, 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. The SX20 has mechanical disc brakes. <laughs> with, it looks like 160 millimeter rotors. Yeah, it looks like 160 millimeter rotors. The SX20 is a folding bike. It has a folding mechanism right here that folds the bike in half. So it becomes literally half the size of the, uh, the standard bike in terms of form factor. The, uh, you pull this lever here and the handlebars go down as well. The, SX20 has 20 by four inch tires with some nice, nice tread. So going on uh, some dirt roads, some uh, fire roads is not gonna be a problem. The SX20 has suspension forks, which are really nice and robust and they have preload and lockout, okay? Um, it's a uh, thumb throttle. It has seven gears. You can see the derailleur over here. Shimano Turney derailleur, seven gears. And then there are five pedal assist levels. Let's take a look at the, um, the display here. You push this middle button for a few seconds, it comes on. You've got your speed, got your odometer, got your battery uh, percentage left. And then this, it doesn't show the wattage output of the motor, but it shows based on like, like number of bars, just how much power you're putting out. So if I'm barely using it, it's gonna have one bar. If I'm going up a hill, throttle only, it's gonna have all the bars showing, okay? And um, a few other things I like about the bike, I really love the candy red. I was hoping that they are gonna send me this. I think it's really slick looking, it's so shiny. It's like a fire truck, it looks so cool. And then I love that the wheels are red. It's just a nice look, you know? I love that it's got the integrated battery. It's just a nice, clean style. And, um, you know, the attention to detail with the nice, you know, cord wrap here. They have cord wraps here and here. And then this one is Velcro. And you can kind of just attach it to all the cords. It just makes it nice and slick and, and smooth, you know, instead of having cords everywhere. And, um, you know, a decent seat. Um, not bad at all. Uh, it's got some comfort to it. It's got a little bit of cushion. You can see that. You can certainly put a more comfortable seat on or you could put a suspension seat post. They start as low as thirty dollars. They go up to like two hundred and fifty. But you can get one for thirty dollars. That's just kind of cheap, but works. You can get one that's like ninety dollars from like DNM. That uh, is a like a compression C post. It's nice. Um, there is a. Let's see. You push this plus button for a few seconds, and I don't know if you can see it, but the headlights come on. Okay. Push it again, they come off. And um, overall, just a nice look. <clears throat> nice step through design, very easy to get on and off. And um, you know, 750 watt, that's a, that's a nice powerful motor. Uh, we're gonna go for a ride and you're gonna see the kind of power capability it has, but that's, that's a really nice motor. A lot of bikes this size have 500 watt motors. Um, <clears throat> it was one of the most popular bikes out right now. I won't mention the brand, but it's very similar to this, but it has a 500 watt motor. Um, the 750 watt motor definitely has power, you know? From a dead stop in the grass, we just took off no problem, right? And I'm just showing you that we can go through the grass very, 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 very easily. You can easily go through the, uh, the mulch, you know? And uh, very easily here, I'm gonna show you, we can go on a dirt path that has like little rocks sprinkled all over it. Nice and easy, you know? It's not a problem at all. So you have a lot of dual sport capabilities on this bike. You can very easily transition between the road, the sidewalk, the grass, the dirt, the mulch, 
and uh, you know, even gravel, right? These 20 by 4 inch tires are very comfortable. If you pump them up all the way, you get full max speed and range. But if you lower them a little bit, say 5 PSI less than the top PSI, require, that, that's listed on the tires, and you get a little extra cushion, and it helps. I mean, these tires are just really bouncy, especially if you have it a little bit less than full in terms of PSI, okay? Seat can go up really high. Um, the uh, the handlebars are uh, up really high as well. Um, if you're tall, it's definitely going to still work for you. You're not really leaning over. If you're on the smaller side, they're going to be like even with your chest, which is just great. Really comfortable. Okay. Okay, let's see. We're going to do my, uh, my standard runway that I take all my bikes on. Just a perfect straightaway for, uh, for testing speed. Okay. Brakes nice. Brakes work well. Okay. We're going to do pedal assist. We're going to start in pedal assist one, gear three, and see what happens. Okay, it definitely has some power. I mean, it definitely lifted the bike up the minute I started pedaling. Now we're in uh, pedal assist one, still have gear five. Let's do pedal assist two, gear five. Pedal assist three, gear seven. Pedal assist four. Oh, it has three pedal assist levels. I don't know why I said five, it has three. Three pedal assist levels. So we're in pedal assist three, gear seven and we're going 25 miles an hour and uh you know I'm, I'm truly like we're going 26 miles an hour we're going 27 miles an hour okay i probably could have gotten up to 28 so three pedal assist levels pedal assist three you've got a lot of power and uh yeah 28 28 is probably no problem i got to 27 real easy let's see throttle only now oh and also when you're doing pedal assist at that level you're, you're air pedaling. It's just you're going too fast, you know? Okay, so we're doing throttle only. Then we're going 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yeah, we're at 29. So pedal assist 28 and throttle only 29. And um, uh, I'm about six foot two ten, two twenty, something like that, just to give you a sense. Okay. All right. So definitely a very comfortable upright seated position. The uh, suspension forks are really nice. Um, give you a lot of cushion on the front end. The uh, the seat is surprisingly comfortable enough, you know doesn't have the most cushion but it's got enough you know um, because it's a folding bike you do have a little bit not all folding bikes but in this one particular you have a teeny bit of um, give in the handlebars when you kind of push them forward there's a little bit of give um, it seems like they're it's as tight as it can be but there's still like a teeny bit of give like you can see like a millimeter movement it's not a problem at all it's just something to get used to. But man, these tires, the suspension, you can just go anywhere. It's just so much fun. Grass, dirt, street, anywhere you want. So we're gonna go in a little bit of, yeah, this thing's got some speed too. These brakes are pretty freaking solid. Okay, so let's go, um, this is like grass with, you know, dirt and, and holes and divots and branches and rocks and it's just flying through it like nothing, you know? Look at this. Yeah, like nothing. I don't even feel it. So yeah, the suspension forks are really freaking nice. The tires are really nice in terms of gripability. Like, like I can really grip, you know? They've got nice tread on them. A lot of bikes um, come with what they call like dirt tires, but really they have very few small um, <clears throat> and pretty close together, um, you know, knobs. And you don't really get a lot of traction. These have pretty slick, uh, pretty nice traction, you know? Pretty good uh, knobs on them. 
and uh yeah i've got traction like no matter what i'm doing you know see this plenty of traction and uh yeah it's got some nice pickup power and it's clearly got some nice top end power <laughs> Yeah. So you can adjust the, the suspension up front to be even stiffer or looser, depending on what you're doing. It's pretty stiff right now, but I definitely, it's definitely working really well, you know? Um, if you're going over lighter stuff, you know, mostly on street, you could even loosen it a little bit, um, whatever, or tighten it, whatever. It's, it's all to your, your, whatever your liking is. A lot of people like it really loose when they're going over tough stuff. A lot of people like it really hard when they're going over rough stuff. So whatever. Whatever suits your fancy. Okay. See, it's just, it's doing really freaking well on this path. You know, look how quick the, the brakes work. They're really solid. So a couple things this bike really has going for it, in my opinion, are the, um... <clears throat> the 750 watt motor a lot of bikes in this class have you know 500 watt motor <clears throat> um but uh that and then the integrated battery a lot of bikes have it's more and more coming out with the integrated look battery but some of them still have the bolt-on battery you know it just kind of looks not quite as slick you know this just looks really smooth and slick and uh you know I, if styling's important to you then the, the candy red as well and the red wheels it's just a sharp looking bike, people, you know? So the SX20 could definitely be, could definitely be a bike for just about anybody. With the step through design, the telescoping seat posts, the um, high handlebars. So just about anybody, I'd say from like 5'4 to 6'2 um, could easily ride this and um, yeah. you know for anybody that's looking to go to the gym the uh, on a bike path go for a ride on a Sunday afternoon on the park through the park good work get groceries you know there's just a lot you could do with this bike so there you have it <laughs>